Hey guys, Tony Maritato here. So I'm writing an article that's talking about can a therapist, in this case, we're going to say, can a physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech language pathologist earn $200,000 a year or not? Absolutely. I have zero doubt, and I'm pretty conservative with my numbers. I have zero doubt that a therapist can earn $200,000 a year. The question is, can they earn $200,000 a year doing what they want to do? Or do they do it by um, accommodating market demands? So let, let's talk about the therapist who cannot earn $200,000 a year. That's going to be your classic staff therapist working for a hospital, a skilled nursing, or some other large organization. That therapist is always going to sacrifice the ability for upside revenue and income um, in exchange for the perceived value of job stability. You know, and, and I mean, really, if, if I was a therapist who wanted to focus on building a neuro caseload or if I wanted to focus on lymphedema or I wanted to focus on things that took a lot of resources, took a lot of effort and really didn't pay a lot of money, I would absolutely be the first one in line applying to hospital organizations, university centers and things like that. But I would do it knowing that I'm not going to earn 200000 a year. Six figures? Absolutely. You know, I, I think a therapist in that situation can make between eighty and one hundred twenty thousand dollars, working a forty-hour week, enjoying themselves, doing what they love, doing what they're amazing at. Nothing wrong with that. But for this particular question, that two hundred k mark, I think you have to do something a little different. And so the easiest way to get there, certainly, it's to be your own business owner, to have a one-person business. Don't scale, don't hire a bunch of staff, don't spend a bunch of money on all this other stuff. Like, let, let's do a little simple math. I think it's reasonable to estimate that a typical four-unit Medicare outpatient Part B visit for PT and OT, SLP, you guys are in a different class, um, is going to be about $100, right? So if I'm doing $1,000 visits a week, I'm generating $1,000 a week. If I'm doing 50 weeks a year, taking two weeks vacation, I'm going to make about $50,000. That's 10 visits a week. If I scale that, I get to 20, I'm going to be at $100,000. If I can get to 40 visits a week conservatively, I'm going to be at $200,000. Now, we know that a Medicare evaluation visit, you're going to do an evaluation. You're probably going to do two or three units of treatment. It's going to be about $150 reimbursement. It's going to change based on geography, but that's a close estimate. Um, if I add in the extra $50 compensation, that is what's going to cover the expenses. That's what's going to cover the overhead. If I'm doing a mobile therapy business, that's what's going to cover commute time and other billing costs. If I'm doing a brick and mortar clinic, um, I mean, brick and mortar clinic, a single therapist doing 40 visits a week is, is nothing. I would be looking at um, adding cash-based services, adding upsells, adding products and other things that would benefit your patient, increase profit margin, and really improve the overall patient experience. But definitely, net $200,000 a year as a business owner, absolutely it can be done. And it can be done comfortably and it can be done without excessive stress and excessive time commitment. Um, other ways though, more interesting ways to hit that 200000 a year mark. I think you can look at doing a business model where you, you start to sell digital products. You can create a course. You can create home programs. You can create things that are helping individuals that are never going to become your patients, whether they're outside your geography, across the world, um, creating those little digital assets that are anywhere from $10 to $1,000. I think that is where the therapist can go from treating 40 visits a week to earn 200000 a year to treating 12 visits a week and earning 200000 a year. Because I think that you can generate a significant amount of income on something that's scalable. You build it once, you sell it a thousand times. That is something that can continue to put that income into your bank account while you reduce how much patient care you deliver. Um, other ways to do it, of course, there's telehealth services. Now, going back to the mobile therapy model, the biggest consumption of resources in mobile therapy is 
commute time, drive, driving between patient visits. If you're not doing like an assisted living building or independent living building where you can see all 40 visits in the same building in a week, you really, really making it hard to hit those kinds of numbers in a reasonable amount of work. But what you can do, and this is a model I've shared multiple times, let's say that I was a mobile therapist. Let's say that Monday is going to be my start of care for new patients. So on Monday, I go to the patient's home. I do my evaluation. I deliver my three units of patient care. I spend a 60-minute session with them. And then before I leave that session on Monday, I make sure that they have the technology to push a button, whether it's on a computer, whether it's on a cell phone or a tablet, whatever they have, so that tomorrow when I initiate the contact and I show them how it's going to work, they push a button to accept my initiation and using a HIPAA compliant telehealth platform, there are free versions and paid versions, I can do a 10 minute session where I look at a functional deficit that I, ex I evaluated on Monday, I re-examine it on Tuesday, and I look at how they're doing with the things that I taught them yesterday. And we spend 10 minutes, and it's a therapeutic activity code or a neuro re-ed code or an exercise code. And then on Wednesday, we do a different activity, and on Thursday, we do a different activity, and on Friday, we do a different activity. And so in a week, Monday I did the in-person, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I did single unit pop-ins at my discretion so I could do it whenever I had the 10 minutes free. I didn't have to book it. I didn't have to schedule it. And what's beautiful about that is it's a one unit visit, which means I don't have an MPPR reduction in reimbursement. Um, I can do it at my leisure. I can do it whenever I have the time. So I'm optimizing my schedule a little bit better. I don't have commute time. I'm not getting in the car. I don't have other inefficiencies that I'm dealing with. And when you look at the total cost to Medicare, so in a typical scenario, let's pretend you're a therapist who would normally do two four unit sessions a week that produces eight units of expense to the Medicare benefit. Well, if I did one unit in person, which bill, or I'm sorry, one visit billing four units, and then I did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one unit visits, I'm still only billing eight units, but I'm maximizing my time, my opportunity, and my reimbursement. And I, I would argue you're delivering a far better patient care experience because if you've ever gone to somebody right now, this video, I don't know how long this video is. Oh, seven and a half minutes. I've been talking to you for seven and a half minutes, and I guess my bet is you probably forgot one or two things that I've already said. Imagine how many things are forgotten in a 60-minute session. But if we had a 10-minute session that we could do every single day, five days in a row, imagine how much more the patient's going to understand, how much more they're going to retain. Imagine you can catch problems so much quicker if you're seeing them five days in a row instead of once every week or every other week. Um, there are so many advantages to a system like this. And the reimbursement difference, for those of you that are billing Medicare that know what MPPR is, if I deliver a unit of therapeutic activity, a single unit for a single unit visit, I get the full allowed amount. Let's just say it's $38. If I deliver a unit of therapeutic activity in conjunction with other units and it gets reduced by MPPR, I might, I might only be earning... 31 32 dollars so i'm losing let's just say six dollars per unit three units out of a four unit visit if i lost six dollars per unit that's 18 dollars i lost for that visit that's all gone when i go to single unit telehealth visits and we still have telehealth coverage under medicare through the end of the year through the end of 2024 um leveraging telehealth is going to be a massive opportunity for anybody looking to optimize for efficiency, improve the patient care experience, and really hit that number of earning 200000 a year without running yourself into the ground. So if you guys want to talk about these things more, I've got a thousand other ideas for you, other ways to earn more money without working more, leveraging the knowledge you already have, the experience you already have, productizing that knowledge so that instead of selling it one-to-one -one with a limit to how much you can earn, you can sell it one to a thousand, one to a million with virtually no limit on what you can earn. Guys, I'll catch you on the next video.